in this video we are going to create helix or you can say a spring so we are going to get some different spring or helix like that with variable pitch values you can see example there are two example i mentioned here uh, for comparison purpose you can see uh, first spring spring one with same pitch values okay you can see an example also in spring two with variable pitch values here also you can see variable pitch values is there okay so there are many types so we are going to create okay just to minimize it okay and first create your basic helix go for curves and click on helix and apply some basic values like the diameter and you have to remember law type should be constant okay okay so simple helix i'm going to create first of all then we'll, uh, then i will compare with other uh, helix so just apply some values like that some diet terms now you can see here in this option uh, okay with this constant value you can see pitch values are same okay so this is the one types of uh, spring again i'm going to click on helix now just change as a linear what law type you have to change as the linear okay if you want to change different different dia if you want to keep same then no problem you can keep uh, as a constant but in pitch values we have to change so uh, just change as a linear here okay so in linear also what you can do you can see here you can define start pitch values and end pitch values so different different values you can apply and if you you will apply different different pitch values then what will happen just see okay so some values the start is 10 and end pitch is 25 you can see here from the bottom if you will see then uh, gradually that is going to increase that pitch values and from top reducing okay you can see here but what we need top and bottom same pitch values and in middle different pitch values so what we should do for that okay so just wait. again go for helix okay now change as a constant because of first of all we are going to get middle portion okay middle portion so some parameters whatever you want to apply just apply some parameters here uh, like the diameter values so apply any diameter values i'm going to apply 80 mm okay so just apply 80 mm and pitch values if you want to change you can change pitch values okay because of this is the uh, middle portion so you have to keep same pitch values okay so number of turns or limits you can apply so i'm going to apply limits why i'm going to apply limits uh, after some second you will see just apply some end limit values okay so i'm going to apply 140 mm okay so two things you have to remember first one is the angle values what angle values you have to remember because angle means starting values okay starting values is zero you have to remember this and then end limit values is 140 you have to remember okay and then just click okay so now again we have to use helix so again i click there so that is overlapped so change your direction first first change your direction okay so direction is changed right now so where is the starting point uh, for this helix you can see here so now you have to change this helix point uh, starting point so you have to apply some angle you have, I mean you are going to rotate that okay so what angle you have to apply 180 degree you can understand that just apply some values 180 degree and next you have to change some pitch values okay or number of turns you have to apply so i'm going to apply uh, limits so just apply some values okay whatever you want uh, 60 is too large and also just first decrease your pitch values and then uh, this length values i'm going to decrease 30 is okay i think just click okay okay it's okay next same procedure you have to do okay for that top portion so click on helix and go for uh, like that uh, we have to change something like that so from from which point from what distance you are going to start this helix so first of all uh, you have to change that values uh, start values no 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 we don't need start values we have to change uh, distance in z direction 
so this value will be zero okay and you can see here in z direction we have to move that z direction I mean a starting point we need uh, after uh, i think this is not 80 mm uh, this values is approximately just a second this value is just a second when i'm going to check it uh, and limit value oh, sorry 140 so you have to apply one i can go for helix and in that direction from 140 mm distance you are going to uh, you are going to create new helix so in that direction apply 140 mm you can see and here also you have to change your starting point so uh, starting point will be uh, at zero degree but currently that is in uh, 180 degree just change it and then click ok ok perfect so now it is created just see uh, front view you can see here a variable value is created so like that you can create ok so just you can see top and bottom and middle portion that is different ok so after that you can apply first of all join this command so use join curve option ok so just use join curve just I'm searching it. Mm, join curve. Put full name. Join curve. Search again. Just is gonna. Uh, I'm going to drag this. Okay. Yeah. This is the join curve option just select this option join curve okay and select all three curves all three helix you have to select after then click ok yes now all three curves converted as a single helix just i am changing I'm visual style and for appearance just you apply tube or you can sweep many option is there so i am going to apply sweep select your curve and apply some diameter don't put inner diameter just put outer diameter only and then preview so like that you can click it thank you guys for watching this video you can see it